morning everybody and welcome back to another day with us i thought i'd start the vlog whilst i'm doing my chores i'm feeling a little bit chatty and you probably know why is it all here it's probably the reason why is it already here because of the title but we are going on holiday um today <laughs> i'm just getting my last little bits like doing the dishes and things like that resetting the house so it'll all be clean for when we come back however i say that we are leaving two teenage boys here and my dad so it probably won't be the way we can leave it it could be better it could be worse last time we arrived home they'd scrub the place and it was spotless so you know hopeful thinking and all of that um but yeah i'm just doing some dishes and stuff because i don't want to leave them with a mess because you know mess on top of mess just makes chaos doesn't it so i'm just doing some dishes and whatnot um so yeah we're going away today we're going up to wales and you're probably all thinking you are not because wales is not open open to holiday makers right now because i think they called it the last of the season on the weekend um but it is bonfire night tomorrow and there is still some like displays and things like that going on up there and the stuff that on the caravan park that we're going to is still very much open the pool entertainment and all of that and we got this holiday for an absolute bargain price of 69 pounds and to add passes on bed linen and all of that to, so you could go like no thrills for 69 pounds or you could add your entertainment passes your swim passes and all of that on for 89 pounds so the whole holiday cost us 89 pounds and it was too much of a bargain for us to miss up on um as you know we've had a bit of a well some people might not know some people might just be joining for the holiday content but if you're new here we have had quite a cruddy past couple of weeks um very sadly and suddenly we lost joe's mum joe's my husband my mother-in-law um it was an awful way to lose someone and it was it's been an awful time and then obviously when you lose somebody you have to go through all of the processes of you know their their home emptying their home and, and like we had to rehome pets and then her own father got ill well let's put it you know people who've been watching the vlogs know exactly what happened but we went to a wedding um two weeks after she passed away and um her dad choked almost to death on a piece of beef and since then he's just not been his normal self and um he went back into hospital two weeks ago with a suspected heart attack and nearly every day something new goes on so it's been a bit of a it's been a bit of a cruddy couple of weeks um for all of us but especially more so for joe so um i've been pondering on booking a little break away because we were supposed to be away for halloween we had agreed with joe's mum in august that we'd book something at the end of september for the end of october but obviously she passed away and we just didn't go ahead with it you know it didn't didn't feel right going without her when it was our plans together um but nevertheless the kids were like are we not going away no more so um they were feeling it so i have been looking at this little break away knowing that it's the last week that we could prob probably go with wales shutting down and joe is expected to go back to work next week as well and end his um his grievance leave with work um obviously we're taking each day as it comes so we need more time we will take more time but right now his plans are that he is going to go back next week so we knew that this was going to possibly be the last week i'd sat there with it in my basket for <laughs> too long basically and um, pondering whether i should or shouldn't and on wednesday morning joe woke up and he said you know, either book the holiday or I end my grieving sleeve early and I go back to work anyway because I need something different in my life right now. So I said, okay, well, if you want, we'll book the holiday, we'll book it. So straight up, we booked it. Boys aren't coming with us for this holiday. Matthew has returned back to work 
so he couldn't come i mean he could he could have took an extra week if he needed to but he said he didn't want to he wanted to return back to work and he also wanted to stay here to comfort the dog although my dad is going to be staying with them my dad's not a doggy person so when the dog gets scared he's hardly got to cuddle the dog on bonfire night so um he's happy to stay here and do that and then zach is booked on to the holiday with us however he has got a tournament thing in one of his activities that he does tomorrow and he is eager not to miss it and he also has another one on thursday as well so he was like i'll just stay here too and i was like well if you want me to after your tournament on tuesday i can come and get you you can come down stay with us and i can bring you back home for thursday and he's like, I'll see, but I don't think I will. So um, it's just us and the girls going up to now. I could be coming home to get that, but I doubt it. Because he did say last time after the last holiday, I'll definitely be coming with you next time, Mum. And then changed his mind. And if you're, any of you are wondering, how are you going to do that when you've just got rid of the seven-seater car and now you've got a five-seater? How are you all going to fit? Joe was going to get the train or I was going to do two trips. So that's how it works out. I'll, if I do come home for him, Joe will be staying up at the caravan with the girls and I'll be driving home to Zach on my own and then bringing him down. But um, as I say, I don't think that'll be a thing that we'll be doing because the boys were that very quite delighted that one of the nights this week um, my dad is going to be out for a couple of hours and that they were like oh we can invite our friends over and we can have a movie fest and they've asked me to download sky entertainment and pay for like a pass thing for them to be able to watch the walk and dead oh what is it called now which De no da daryl 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 something, if anyone's into War and Dead, you might know what I'm talking about. But yeah, um, they have asked me to download that so they can do a movie thing and get them a load of snacks. So I've done that for them and I I've got a feeling Zach's not going to want to come to Wales because we're doing that. So, um, yeah. You've probably already told by the title, but we are going to Haven. We have never, ever, ever been to Haven and we've never, ever, ever been to Prestatton. Now, we have been to many holiday parks. Like, as you know, we go to Wales a lot and we've been to almost every holiday park in the town area. And I was going to say nearly every in real, but I'm only aware of some of them. What is that? Oh, a bit of dish soap. <laughs> um, yeah i'm not aware of all of them i've done marine and robin hood in real and we've done golden sands wing cups palins and time mower in town i think there's still golden gates to go with entertainment and then there's the two without entertainment that we haven't done yet but i don't think we'd do that anyway did you hear that it sounds like we were already in wales with the seagulls um it's been day tomorrow which is why we have seagulls around here they always come around every time it's been there but yeah that's where we're off to i'll be interested to see what it's like we've already been assigned our caravan now for this 89 pounds it is just a basic saver caravan it has got heating and all of that um but i'll be interested to see what it's like it has got five stars on the reviews and stuff so i'm hoping the cleanliness and all of that is okay but before we unpack or anything like that i will be definitely checking it um just because we've been to there and done that in the past with um palings and unpacked and then ended up having to stay in a filthy caravan and scrubbing it ourselves so um yeah i'm always quite cautious with stuff like that now but i'll be interested to see what it's like the entertainment looks great the activities that i've been able to book in have all been great um it does say subject subject to change which i'm guessing it could because all the kids have gone back to school now haven't they so um i'm guessing that not many kids are going to be there so you know they might not have as many activities on but i've already confirmed that the evening entertainment is still on i double check that before i booked um and yeah it looks good so i'm excited to see what it's like this is one of the cheapest holidays we have ever booked so I am a little bit like, oh God, what are we going to here? But I think it's just because it's out of season. So yeah, I'm going to carry on with me cleaning and I'll see you in a little bit. Well, that is it. We are all packed, completely packed. 
And believe it or not, this time yesterday, I didn't even have a single item of clothing packed. But we are all packed, cars all packed. And I've managed to fit it all in. I've just put my P plate back on my car, even though I'm all right driving it, but just to be extra certain. Um, I'm ready to go. Where are we going? Where are you ready? Oh, my stomach's turning. <laughs> I've just picked Matthew up from work. Yeah. He's there. You're very tired. You did an early oh. shift, didn't you, mate? Yeah. So he is absolutely shattered. He rang me and he was like, are you still at home? I said, yeah. He said, do you want to come and get me then? I was like, yep. I was waiting anyway for you. I weren't leaving until I'd gone and got him. So, um, I have yeah. Lots of bags. You what? I have lots of bags. I've got she, well, my car was packed and fitted everything in. I've and then you look bag. at Ebony with all of this stuff. I've got She's got bag. a bag. I've got all this stuff in. I've got my handbag. I've got my pillow, my blankets and my teddy. Yeah, we and a body warmer. Yeah, we need to get muddy mint on the way. It is. I don't, I don't like the idea of them sucking on them sweets when we're driving. The 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 <coughs> In the front with you, I guess. There you go. Oh, well, so Zach doesn't really like berries, do ya? I've left you your pears and all that in the fridge, but we've got berries and strawberries there, and he's not gonna eat them, so they'll just go off. Breakfast, yeah. So I thought we'd take them with us. I have locked it up, but I can unlock it, so go on. It's unlocked. Don't forget your milk bottle, Nevaeh. Um, I need to get wipes as well because I cannot find mine. Where are we going? Are you excited? Yeah. It is going to be cold. Joe's wearing his woolies and none of the rest of us have got them. I didn't think to bring hats and stuff. We're right by the sea. I know we're right by the sea. We might have to buy hats in that when we're there. We brought bank cards. Yeah, I've got the, the, the water, we've got the car one. Oh, into the car, really. Is it? Didn't even realise we had a car bank card in this car. I didn't, you didn't even know we had a car brush. I know. We didn't know. What's a car brush? Um, a hairbrush for your car. Um, you've got one though, haven't you, in there? Oh, yeah, even right. if it's yours, I can transfer to your bank. Um, and we'll be on our way. This is um, the you're sat having off your phone, aren't you? This is I might need to put a charger in one of them. Yeah, I'll record the, the journey. Does everyone go to the toilet? No, I don't. Do you want to go to the toilet before we go? Hurry up then. I am covered in stuff, so... Do you want to just wait then? It's only an hour. Sure. Okay. Press Steven, Sans. I'm so excited. Press Steven. <laughs> Guess where we're staying at? Mm. Well, Sans holiday the gas while we drive. Is that where yours, yeah? Oh. Yeah, press that one. Yep. And then go on that. And then you pick your directions. Fastest. There's not much difference between both of the routes. There's 20 minutes difference. Okay, go for the motorway way. Starting route to Prestaven Sands Holiday Park. So guys, where have we arrived? Yeah. We are here, she has go with the game. We got 18 minutes and our little puppy, you good girls on the, this one and this one. Um, we are now 18 minutes away from our destination. We have drove all the way here with no problems at all. It's been a lovely drive. And do you know what I'm gonna say? It's my bum, <laughs> it's the comfiest it's been coming to Wales in a long time. Like, even getting minibuses, I'd be tossing and tearing up. I said the minibus, I said this seat though, didn't I? It's it's whoa, comfy, yeah. this seat's really comfy. Yeah. Like, find us because this seat's dead low down and you can't pump it up. That's not a thing where you can't push it up. Yeah, a little bit of problems. Nice, Jesus, 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 Jesus,
Sixty-five. Day sixty-four. Day sixty-four. Day sixty-three next day. Let's go. Oh, come! I like to kill him. There's us. Well, we've arrived. Joe has just Can been here to make sure it is ready. Go on. Is that what you do? Just like that? Is this off you where you've just walked in here? Wow. How nice is that? Don't walk on the, the carpet in your trainees. Wow. I don't, I didn't lock the car. Did you not? No. <laughs> so this is the living room. Let's go and have a look at the bedrooms. Yeah. Yes, I have a look. I'm not, I'm not, um, what's in there? Bathroom. 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 What's in here? Bedroom. How many bedrooms is I think it's only a two. It was supposed to only be a two. Oh, guess what, girls? You're going to be happy. You've got yeah. your own rooms. Yes! Yes, I'm on the room. That's me toy. Hold on. And Man and Joe's room. Wow, I really like it. And then, oh, it's not this side, it's the other side. Look at all this. Got a hair dryer plug. We've got a TV. Mommy, I'm going to go A bathroom. Have you got a toilet? What's in here? Let's have a look. Yeah. Hang on. What's that? Oh, it's that's a boiler cupboard. Just come out of there. We don't need to go in there. Oh, wow. Wow, it's so nice. Have you got one too? Yeah. And we got, I think I showed the bathroom already. Wow, I like this. And we've even got this little table here. Isn't that amazing? What's this? I want my passes and the key. How nice is this? And that's big enough for our shopping for the week as well. £89, guys, £89. Look at that view as well, right from our window. Wow. Ebony has also just pointed out that we have a dishwasher. Yeah. Let me see you God, this, it's this is the best. You've got Bluetooth access to speakers in the whole caravan. They've connected power and blasted around the whole caravan. Oh, that's good. And then your heating's here. This isn't a bronze caravan, yeah. this is it. And then you put your heating on to max, and that's how you turn the heating up and down. And then you've got this here, you hold it. There's a Bluetooth cover. Oh, wow. This isn't a bronze, this is it. No. Definitely not. We pay for bronze, but this isn't bronze, this. Joe and the girls have gone for a little walk around the holiday park. There's a little play area just over there, so he took them to go and have a look at that because the girls were saying they were bored. I was unpacking. Nevaeh is here with me. They've had some lunch, and then we're going to head out. Oh, here they come. They're coming back now. Um, I'm just sitting here in all looking at these views like, wow. Absolutely wow. I'm just charging my phone up for a little bit so I can vlog when we go out and we just need to go to Tesco. Yes? Oh wow. Mom. Did he? How do you know? Oh. Oh it must be because um bonfire nights. People setting them. Did we? Oh, lovely. Oh, we seen the park, but it was ages. I'm saying, did we? If you walk to the bus, you have to go to that mountain. Shut up. Shut up. Is that the one that's on fire? No. Oh. It's lovely, that, isn't it? I'm just sitting here watching the view, like, oh, tomorrow morning when you get up dead early, I want to buy some hot chocolate because I want to drink my hot chocolate because I'm not a tea drinker. Well, I'll look at that view. <laughs> so, what's your thoughts so far, then, guys? Like it's all right, just all right. Why? What's wrong with it? 
There is, there's one over there. The park where they ate off, it was like a baby park. Yeah, and there's another one, there's one over there. Dad didn't take us to that one. Oh, well, there is more. We're going to adventure, we're going to Tesco now. Yeah, we've got to go and get some bits so we're not hungry later on. And then come back and chill. Oh, and you know another good thing? Get off the side, babe, before you fall off. Can you come this way, please? We can get the King and Papa John's and chopsticks delivered to here. Yeah. Chopsticks? Yeah. Is that noodles? Yeah, it's like noodles. Yeah. So I don't know what it is. I know they've got one in the field. Get down, please. No, I'd like you to get down. Careful of your head. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Mm. I think it's sufficient enough. It is. Well, TV says. Uh, I'm not even watching the telly. I'm watching them views because they're just so nice. The only thing I have found that I've gone mm, so far is the car. The car is parked miles away. Like there's no car park right on the ca on the caravans. You've got a car park. And it's got bay numbers, so you can't even see your car from where your caravan is because there's a caravan here blocking it. So I'm parked like over there somewhere. It's the only downfall, isn't it, yeah. to it so far? But other than that, it's been alright. We're now heading to Tesco so we can. <laughs> you always do that, don't you? We're now heading to Tesco so we can um, get some bits for the week. And then we can just go and enjoy the entertainment. So our caravan was not supposed to be ready until three till four. And when we arrived, it was already ready. So we were just able to go in and unpack. Otherwise, we'd have only just been getting here now and unpacking now like everybody else. But meanwhile, we can start our holiday, which is great. So uh, off to Tesco we go. Are you putting it on your phone or? Yeah, what happened then? You put it in test? Yeah. Obviously, you only drives. I want you to type me on love. Tesco, press, uh, press, just press. type Tesco. I was going to tell you to put Prescott. 12 minutes. Yeah, that one. And now I can record the journey. <laughs> Tesco, what did we spend? About £55. Well, we are eating in the caravan most of the time, aren't we? We might have a little cheeky big king because it's something that Joe's been wanting to try for ages. But um, I don't think it was too bad. Mm. We got drinks, we got everything we needed, so enough it? snacks and everything. Smash the I only me. spent half. I spent about half of what I'd spend at home and with two people less. It didn't include what I spent on the boys' shop and their £50. I spent £100 this week on shopping. So I haven't actually saved nothing at all. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're heading back to the caravan now. Are you putting that um, garlic on? Yeah, it's one another tray to cook the garlic bread just yet. Are you done? You only really had a little bit, Renee. This camera just isn't giving it any justice at all. It's absolutely beautiful. It looks dead layered on there. But over daytime, it's even more gorgeous. Oh. Joe said there's a better view from here, so. My nighttime camera just isn't working like it should. We're all good. Cute. We're going to the entertainment when we find out and figure out where it is. We've just parked the car because we're a little bit. Can you go through this way? No? Back around this way. I don't know how I knew that. Joe was trying to take us through the back entrance. I did tell you that too. You're a Tess welcome. You were going, but there's another one down there saying welcome. No, I don't know. 
<laughs> we'll do a proper tour around here tomorrow when it's daytime yeah. so you can see what it's like I think that's the restaurant it's cool isn't it Yeah, that's where crazy golf is. And then you've got your chopsticks noodle bar. <coughs> there. These are wanting to try chopsticks so they can get some chopsticks. Aren't you? And then, so you've got your chopsticks here. You've got a big sandcastle and bucket here. Girls are going to try the chair. Are you getting on? You getting on? You getting on to say cheese? To get on the big giant chair? Say cheese. Look at mummy. Say cheese. One of the biggest arcades I've ever seen on a caravan park, isn't it? Yeah. Come on, let's go to the entertainment. Yeah. 
gas and then some, so we'll need to help them get prepared. Oh no, it gets everywhere. Why do they need you though, Jazz? This sketchbook has magical powers, so when I invent something, it then make a wish. But I'm afraid you might miss me, and I would really miss you three. I wonder if, I wonder if, I wonder if I should stay. Very educational, isn't it, lads? Yeah. You are the first planet in our line, Mercury. Wow, <sighs> that's really thirsty. <laughs> Next is Venus, the hottest planet in the solar system. Are they learning all about the solar system? Caravan, the kids are just having some supper. Yeah. How was your evening? It was lovely until the guy came on, it was like, it went dead loud. You still enjoyed it though, you still danced to it all night. Yeah. He was a brilliant singer. He was, he was really good. Yeah. And he had the energy and the vibes, didn't need to keep mm -hmm. going. He barely took a break, didn't take a breath. The little dilemma, Ebony was like, You haven't brought my pajamas, Mum. Actually, you told me that earlier on, didn't you? Mm -hmm. You haven't bought my pajamas, and all day it messed with me. Ads like, I was like, I know oh, I did. Eh? I know I brought these Harry Potter pajamas because they were one of the first things that I packed. Because when we I booked the holiday, pair of pajamas. <laughs> when we packed for the well, when we booked the holiday, I didn't pack straight away. I just gathered a couple of things like Renee's pajamas, which were yeah. new, Ebony's pajamas, which weren't quite new, but you've only worn them like once, haven't you? Yeah. Um, and then Twice. Nevaeh's the same only pajamas that she's worn once. I'd washed them, dried them, and put them away. And I was like, mm -hmm. right, I'll grab them. You won't miss them. 
because they know they can wear some of the other ones so they were the first things that i threw in a bag so i was like why would i have not packed them when they were one of the first things that i packed yeah so i said to her they're definitely there no they're not they're not there she was adamant wasn't you it's like make sure thought, they're not wrapped inside were, of your other clothes i thought they were me you know red pants i thought that was just me red pants. but i told you to make sure that they weren't wrapped inside I, of them I shook my red pants. Mm. anyway you so we've them. just got home and she said, I've got no pyjamas, so I'm just going to have to sit here in my underwear because I'm too hot to wear my clothes. I'm too hot to wear my snuggle holiday because I've brought that down there. Yes. So it's like, we're going to have to find something for you to wear, even if it's one of my t-shirts or something, you're going to have to put it on as a nighty. So I start going through my stuff and I'm like, I definitely brought them pyjamas. I never did. I'm not going insane because the stuff that... Where's your noodles and mine? Where? They're there on the little table. There they are. On the little, no, the table. little table. Um, anyway. Yeah, the, I thought to myself, all of the stuff <laughs> that I didn't pack, little... all the stuff that I didn't pack, I put away in the bedrooms, and then pyjamas definitely weren't there. So I just went into your room, didn't I, on the last thing, yeah. pulled everything out of the wardrobe. My pyjamas were there. But, Dad! But then, we are all in our pyjamas, and I thought, I'll get your eyes out. I forgot you. <laughs> it wasn't intentional. Go on. Dad has the um, caravan like it's a sauna. It is. It's absolutely boiling. Like we were worried about it, uh, how it would anyway, be let us open this the late in the year because every other caravan we've been in has been pretty cold, especially when we've come in in October. But this one is absolutely stifling. Joe's not letting it get cold. I suppose it's good in a way because it yeah. prevents us from getting sick again. But, um, but well, it is. It's so warm. Clothes with trackies. it's not fun. Yeah, yeah. Got Joe's pajamas, and I also forgot my white noise machine. So sleeping <gasps> for a week should be absolutely so much fun. Or why don't you just keep your TV on all night? Oh, I like oh, I blast my Harry Potter. I can't, can't blast. with the noise. But the noise, I have got a white noise on my Alexa app on my phone, but it'll just use all my data. So I just, I don't know don't what know to do. What to do. Mm. Drinks. Give me soda. I don't can know I what to do. Yeah. It is now the next day, but not the next day that I normally end the vlogs on. Like you were saying, you went. It's become common practice for you to end the vlogs on the next day, but it is twenty past twelve in the night, and Vaya has only just fell asleep. The girls aren't asleep because they can't sleep. What are you doing? What are you doing, <laughs> Joe? Stop it. Um, they can't sleep. Nevaeh couldn't sleep either, could she? Um, she was wild. She hadn't napped all day. She didn't nap, did she, on the drive up here? Can you just stop it? I don't think so. And she was still wide awake, wasn't she? She was like, I brought her back in here because she wasn't settling in the room for an hour and a half. Joe, stop it. I've got a feeling it's because I haven't brought the white noise machine, so now I need to try and find somewhere local to buy a white noise machine tomorrow, otherwise I'm going home. Because <laughs> that was a good one, two and a half hours. Jeff, stop it! <laughs> Where's the kids? Um, and then to, when she finally started falling asleep, she started saying to me, I want to go home, I want to go home. I wouldn't put your head underneath there, you'll die. Finally did start falling asleep. She started crying that she wanted to go home. I want to go home to my bed. I want to go home. This was because I took a toy off her so she'd stop messing around and playing and so she'd go to sleep. Like, and then she finally fell asleep, but it is late. And <laughs> Tomorrow is going to be a long day because she's going to be tired, but I'm just going to have to encourage her to nap <laughs> or something. I don't know. But I'm going to go on the hunt now tomorrow to try and find... A white noise machine if all else fails there's some bluetooth thing in here that you discovered isn't there where you can connect your phone to it and there's bluetooth speakers around the caravan maybe i can do my white noise off my alexa through the bluetooth speakers what's that <laughs> oh gosh um yeah uh, well that's why i was like what is that <laughs> <laughs> up yeah um anyway i have been editing this video in hopes that i'd be able to get it up tomorrow but i don't think it will be it'll probably be like wednesday now because 
there's just so much editing to do with music to add and everything else and make sure I don't get copyrights stuff all the music that's in the evening entertainment so um thank you so much for watching and I will see you again tomorrow when I show you all around the caravan park because it'll be daylight and we'll be able to show you a little bit more than we have been able to show you today so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon Bye.